Hi, so we are going to talk about sputtering. Sputtering means you are, you know, to take out the material from something. Uh, so basically, uh, here you you wants to ionize a bigger molecule, and then you want to hit it, and that in that process, if that molecule is uh, able to hit with enough kinetic energy, it will take out some material from the target, and you can you know deposit in that way. So here I'll give you the simple sketch. Basically, you have this uh, uh, let's say two electron and positive and negative bias, and you have a, a some inert molecule inside it because the inert molecule will not react with the material. Mostly, it is argon. So uh, you apply uh, and uh, very high electric field in DC. Uh, so it will become DC sputtering RF. You will become RF sputtering. Uh, we'll talk about why, when DC, when RF. Uh, so you know, in that process, you'll make a, you know tear apart argon. You will basically you take uh, you you take one electron out of argon, so it become argon positive electron. Uh, so argon is getting attracted toward negative, and electron goes another other way around. Uh, so now argon is a heavy molecule. So if it is uh, accelerating with too much high volt, in, uh, you know kinetic energy, it can really sputter out the material. Now uh, there is something called magnetic. Magnetron uh, is magnetic assembly to make this um, plasma dense. Uh, so uh, in the Excel instrument gun, what I have seen is there is a you know one magnet uh, in the center and the other. This is a part of a gun which is uh, which is uh, negatively biased uh, and there is a cap over it which is uh, positively biased. So that there is they are not connected with this. I have shown the cap here. This guy sits here and they are not touching with each other. So there is a bias difference between them. So this magnet is north. This is south. So there will be a you know magnetic field uh, in this direction. What it does basically is confine it. It's like create an avalanche of the uh, um, uh, molecule. Otherwise, it was getting neutralized. Argon was getting neutralized. So you needed more power to do that. So it helps in creating plasma very easily. That's why you need this assembly. Now, why DC? Why RF? For example, you have a, some aluminium oxide or something which is insulating material. After some time, there will be charge developing. You can't, you know, you have to dissipate because argon. Suppose there is a, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's taking the molecules. Uh, you know, it's it's going there and it is getting neutralized basically. So imparting the positive charge, so it become positive. And after that, argon positive cannot go and touch this guy because there will be of electrostatic repulsion. So what you need to do is you need to reverse the polarity and it has to happen so far people have chose 13.56 megahertz uh, for this purpose or something like that uh, some standard uh, in, in industry but basically it should i think uh, any any higher frequency should work uh, close to that um, so uh, when the polarity is switched you can uh, easily um, you know with all the charges neutralized so you can keep doing your process Thanks a lot. Okay, so in this video, I will be talking about RF and DC sputtering. And uh, so, uh, for uh, RF sputtering, we have a power supply from Seren, and for uh, DC sputtering, we have a power supply from ADL. For, for unfortunately, the gun of the uh, where I am going to use uh, DC uh, is getting short, so in, inner pin is touching to outer, we can sort it later on, but the basic point is same, it works almost the same principle, and this is, uh, uh, except the power supplies of course, this is our sputtering chamber, uh, it is again a uh, 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 very nice system, as from Excel Instruments, uh, so the behind, below this you are seeing the MFC, you, and MFC right now it starts at 30 SCCM, and uh, this is gun one and that is gun two uh, you can have arc discharge also so uh, now to operate to to do the sputtering first you need to make sure that water is running nice and fine water is running because you need because too much amount of heat is produced so you need to get rid of it and uh, 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 this port this gun uh, this gun is uh, uh, for rf and uh, that uh, that gun this this one is for DC and will, I will not be showing you DC only the RF but still okay it will serve the idea so what I have done is I have turned uh, the argon cylinder on so we'll be putting the uh, argon gas inside the chamber uh, so right now the uh, it is set at 30 SCCM uh, temperature is 23 degrees and I have put the turbo uh, on standby mode uh, so if you see there 
on the meter the pressure is 5.7 minus 1 millibar uh, it is in oh, sorry uh, so it is standby mode uh, I, I'm, and I have closed the gate valve as much as possible to control the pressure otherwise it's too much on load on the turbo pump which is not good uh, so everything is set nice and fine there is a pressure there and uh, normally to start uh, sputtering you uh, you go you uh, strike the plasma at uh, uh, lower pressure it means very bad vacuum minus one and then you uh, but the problem is the because there is a lot of molecules the plasma will strike very easily but the problem is the a lot of impurities you don't want that so normally i've seen people doing it minus three minus two and then after that you don't get plasma so it becomes a pain but minus two minus three seems like a good range for most of the evaporations oh sorry sputtering uh, so what i'm going to do i'm going to move towards uh, now seren power supply so uh, i'll uh, this is matching uh, network and this is the main power supply so i'll turn both of these guys on it will take some time to start okay it's fine this is saying you can do the tuning manually or auto whatever you want dc is one volt bias uh, bias is help which is which will let us know what is happening uh, so uh, uh, right now it is in auto mode so i don't have to do anything i'll turn on rf i have turned on rf so it's saying uh, zero watt uh, reflected is zero and something like that i'll go around and nothing no plasma is there so what i gonna do is uh, uh, i'll just so i'm going to increase the voltage up to 10 volt and we'll see the corresponding uh, values uh, uh, power sorry i mean to say so i'll go 10 watt and rough re uh, reflected is zero watt uh, dc is 40 volt which is pretty good and let's see in the plasma chamber what is happening there how holy it's pretty good man i'll there is a shutter over it it's not very clearly visible i'll just open it so shutter is open and uh, i'll increase it bit more so that you can see i'll making it 15 so you can see much 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 visible i'll make it 20 So you see the clear visible plasma and I'll show here you again the same thing uh, so right now you see the DC voltage is 34 volt it's under percent and reflected power is 0 forward power is 20 watt uh, which is pretty much good so as soon as we are done again we can record this on thickness monitor whatever thickness you want to turn on uh, we are done we'll make it we'll bring it to again 0 watt and turn off this guy and this, this is always you turn this off and you turn this off and nice and fine you look at your sputtering chamber the plasma is gone and that's all and then you can again pump it down you can uh, so i made the system uh, because you don't want to vent in the air so you can use the same argon gas to vent it even if you open it which is pretty good thank you